so now that we have created a document and we have applied some formatting to this document whether it is using the modifying the font or the paragraph or applying styles to the document now the next step usually is to enhance the document by utilizing additional components in it for example by here and by the way to do this you go under the insert tab and that's where you can enhance it and add all kinds of other stuff to this document so for example we could add here a blank page if we wanted to or a cover let's start with a cover page so you can choose a cover page and then pick any of those cover pages and notice it has pushed the rest of the document down and just put this as the first page in the document. The other thing is that from time to time you might want a part of the document to always be on a beginning on the beginning of a next page. For example, let's say I want this right here where it says keep your documents safe and secure. Notice notice this starts on the next page here, the wording. So let's say I want this to always be on the next page. You do that by inserting a page break. So you click here on page break. And notice anytime I type in a new text, and if it flows to the next page, notice this, even though there is space on page number two, it still keeps keep your documents safe and secure on a page by itself and that is utilized in the page break from time to time you may find that you need to get rid of the page break for one reason or another and this is how you get rid of the page break you go under the home tab here you click on this little icon to show hide codes hidden codes and then notice it says here page break all you have to do is select it the word page break press delete and that gets rid of that page break that you had inserted from earlier now by the way whenever you hide and reveal those codes um, notice the dots these are the space marks how many times you have pressed space and these are the paragraph marks and so on so now let's go back under the insert tab and uh, to insert a table so inserting a table in the document let's assume we need to create a table here click on table and there are a couple ways of creating a table you can either select how many columns and rows you want that's one way or the other way is by clicking on insert table and then you choose insert table and then you simply click on how many columns and how many rows you want and then change the other properties from here notice additionally there are quick tables that you can insert which are predefined tables for various uses so in this case it's a basic table and now when, now that we inserted the table notice that on the top here we have two new tabs that were just added as soon as we clicked on table notice I click out of the table they disappear come back when I click on the table those are referred to as the contextual tools uh, that means they are tools that show up in the context of what I am doing at this point in time at this point I'm working with tables therefore I get the table tools each tab has a separate set of tools whether it is a layout and these depend by the way on the type of object that i'm working on so in this case i'm working with tables here and instead of me reinventing the wheel i can still go and choose to customize this according to a predefined template format this however i want so for example various so notice in this case what it's doing is is that uh, these are separate columns so if I want these to be all in one, I can simply right click, choose merge cells, and then the whole thing will flow. The reason why I couldn't see them was because of the formatting that we had applied to the heading here by using one of those styles from earlier. 
and then you, here you can simply enter the text and format it however you you want the other thing to keep in mind here notice that there is also if you need it to do calculations there's a totals row that you can apply you can change the shading for a specific set of cells or a bunch of cells here under shading you can change the border the color the all kinds of other properties here under the contextual tools under the design tab or under the layout tab where you can select and change properties split specific cells merge the cells auto fit them and change the, the text formatting so let's say i don't want it here from the left i want it centered for this one and so on the text direction and so on so it's a matter of uh, of seeing what's available and tinkering with it another way that i find this useful to work with tables is by right clicking and then choose insert and then rows above or below uh, this comes very handy usually without having to reach for layout and find it where it is but using basically the right click function that's another concept to add to your bag of tricks right clicking using right click and then the other one so far was tinker with the different tabs see what's available in, in an application to figure out as to what it does this thing Thank you.